Aquarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your You versus Them. And Aquarius, wish you all a very, very, very happy new year from me. Wish I wish you health, wealth, happiness, lots of love and good wishes. And uh, also a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So Aquarius, let's see how you're feeling, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. Uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person and in the center I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading Aquarius, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Somebody's taken their power back. It's like, yeah, I'm not going to take any, any more <laughs> BS. I'm going to guard my energy, protect my energy and, um, well, taking my power back, basically. Uh, I do sense here somebody was not maybe ready for commitment or something and this chapter could have shut down. Now they want to message. They want to message. They want to heal the connection. I think they've had enough time to think about what they've done and they do want to heal this connection. The other person has gained their confidence to say, you know what, I know who I am. I know I'm you know, I can still turn heads wherever I go. I'm taking my power back. I'm going to hold back now my energy instead of just giving it away just like that to people who, you know, don't appreciate it or keep me in the dark or keep secrets from me or have a secret life maybe. I don't want to deal with these kind of people. I'm giving up. I'm not stressing about it anymore because you know what? I've taken my power back. All right, so let's see what's going to happen then. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, um, Aquarius. But uh, first, I want to take three cards from the universe. Let's see why the universe brought us here and what's the general theme around this reading that we have been led to do. So, universe, my angels, spirit guides, why are we here for Aquarius's reading? What's, what's going on here? What do you want us to know? One... Two and one more. All right, here it is. The first card here, Aquarius says, Stability. This connection can withstand more than you think. Maybe somebody feels that this is an uh, unstable situation. They don't know that the, the other person may have leveled up or they are now ready to offer that stability. So yeah, this connection can withstand more than you think. Longing. Someone is yearning and desiring you. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You were meant to meet this person for a reason. Now, I don't know whether that reason is short-lived or long for the long term. They say you meet soulmates for a reason, season or a lifetime. So this soulmate did come, to your, come into your life by both of you, of course, no, for a reason. Maybe to trigger something or to teach you something. That doesn't mean it can't go for a long time. But let's see what's happening here. Okay, so I'm going to start with person A's energy. No, sorry. I'm going to first do your dialogue message cards, Aquarius. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then, then we'll start the clarification. So Aquarius and that person spirit, if they could say something to each other now. What would that be? Aquarius and that person spirit. All right. Let's take a few more from another deck. Aquarius and that person spirit. If they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Aquarius and that person. Just a few more from a third deck as well, Aquarius. And then we'll start the reading. Aquarius and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right. Good to go. Let's start the reading, Aquarius. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, <clears throat> I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. 
right? So maybe one person had to learn that more than money and finances and cars and houses, it's the emotional happiness which truly makes the world a better place to live in, right? So they're saying, I wish I could have been emotionally available and let you in. Every song I hear reminds me of you. So somebody's heart chakra has opened up now. You're always in my dreams. Life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. Hurting you hurt me even more. I'm still healing. I don't care what my family or anyone else has to say. I want you and nobody else. It was just not the right time for us. I didn't really believe in marriage until I met you. See, that's why that this soulmate was supposed to come into this person's life because they never believed in marriage. They didn't believe in emotions. Maybe money, wealth and cars were more priority than anything else. Now they're saying, yeah, I didn't really believe in marriage and love and emotions till I met you. And maybe the other person was overgiving. They had to learn boundaries. I'm not sure if you love me for me or who you think I am. I realized that you did not make me feel bad about myself. I did that. Yeah, we do that to, to ourselves sometimes. You know, we, we have this picture of how a person should treat us and we start behaving in that manner. Like, if I give, 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 you know, that person will automatically love me more and more. So, yeah, this, I think one person had to realize that they did not make this person feel like, feel bad. They did it to themselves. Maybe overgave or didn't keep their boundaries up. I'm secretly obsessed with you. I'm scared now to reach out to you. You deserve better than anything I can offer. I've told my family about you. I talk to you a lot in my head. All right, so these are some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline Aquarius, let's start the reading. But first, as always, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels want to bless my Aqua Gang with today. Blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Wise decisions. Now would be a good time to sit down and evaluate this connection, Aquarius. Whether you guys can get back together or is the lesson learnt and you have to, can move on, uh, you always have a choice. There is always free will. So make wise decisions now. Okay, Spirit, let's start their reading and let's see if Aquarius can get any insight into making these wise decisions. I do sense, okay, newcomers, before I start, these are two soul energies for me. This is not gender based. I don't know which side you're on. I don't want to know because I want to be fair to both sides. Now, if this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you. And yes, it could be a love interest, spouse, ex, could even be a non-romantic person, like um, a not romantic person, but a relationship where it could be a best friend or a business partner or a family member or something. If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you. And to avoid confusion, I'm only going to focus on one side. Think of it as two readings, only on one side first. After I'm done with person A, will I move to person B? And uh, then you can be your judge. So let's focus on you, person A. Uh, King of Pentacles in reverse. I think person A is feeling a little insecure at this time. They're feeling a little abandoned. They're feeling a little left out in the cold, right? This could be the person who was not interested in commitment, who was not ready to step up and maybe at one time. Now, maybe they are the ones who left the other person's person waiting or, you know, not appreciated. 
now they want this partnership desperately they want this equal give and take they want this partnership they're very very stre stressed out now they're anxious they're stressed out they're wondering how do i now go back is the chapter shut can i have a brand new chapter maybe they're seeing the other person as very strong or withdrawn and now they need the courage to even approach the other person right but believe it or not person a is definitely manifesting they are manifesting big time that they get one more chance they get one more chance if they get this one more chance this is a manifestation that if only person b allows me this time round i promise you know i'm going to go and offer them everything okay so tell me about the world card what you're so afraid of tell me what's the world card person a yeah they want to start a brand new chapter this time round they are not confused they've made up their mind if I get one more chance with person B, I have chosen my direction, Omkara Taro. I know the truth now. I know what I did wrong. And this time round, I'm ready to put in the work. I want to put in the work and I want this happily ever after with person B. Why do you feel this way? Tell me, person A. Uh, why are you feeling insecure that, you know, you may not or may not get this chance? Page of Wands. What's the page of Wands? I think um, earlier maybe person B was the one who was messaging them or trying with them or something like that. But ever since I think person B has taken their power or standing in their strength, not messaging them anymore or not replying to their texts, I think it's really made person A realize what it feels like to not, you know, to be left out in the cold of, you know, feeling the lack of love in their life. They are not happy. This person could be pretending to be happy, there, but they are absolutely not happy without the other person in their life. And it's actually making them realize, that is my soulmate, that is my better half, this is the one I want to go back to, this is the one I, who's my best friend, who I want to celebrate life with. They want to now come back and maybe apologize to that person. They want to heal this connection. They, they want to tell that person that, hey, the truth is that you are my wish, you are my star, you are the one who makes all my dreams and wishes come true. And uh, I don't want to have a missed opportunity with you. I should have invested when the time was right. Uh, I think they're a bit scared to take action right now, but they are spying, they are watching, they are trying to gather information about the other person because either they feel Maybe they are the ones who took their love for granted and now they feel the love is lost or maybe person B could be very emotionally upset with them right now, uh, could have uh, given up on them or released them. So they are a little afraid, I think, um, of approaching. So how do you feel about the connection now, person A? How do you feel about person B and how do you feel about this connection? Person A says, I've, I've been in hermit mode, Omkara Taro. I've given it a lot of thought and I've realized that whatever I did or whatever happened, it backfired on me. Person A is acknowledging that um, they were probably very rude in the past, maybe not emotionally open, could have been um, very head over heart or said th things which could have been hurting to person B. Yes, this person has given it a lot of reflection about the imbalance they created with their you know, power struggles or I'm better than you or it's my way or the highway. This person is saying, why did I do that? Now that I have time to think, I cheated myself. It, this just backfired on me, this behavior, because now they want to heal the connection. Now they see what a beautiful, healing, balanced energy the other person brought into their life. So temperance, temperance. Yes, like I said, I think person A is wanting one more chance. They, please give me one more chance. I will, now I think they've realized that person B is the one who make, who can make their dreams and wishes come true, which I've already said earlier, but the card popped out again. This person wants to talk about all the conflict that happened. They're hoping that the other person will give them a chance to restore back peace and balance into this connection so that, well, you guys can move on towards a better future together. Yeah, I think person A now does want to rectify the situation. They know that the other person, um, they know that they've hurt that person. They know that they've broken promises or 
um, maybe broken pers person bee's heart but they also know now that because of their inability to commit or you know stand up for the connection that's the only reason the other person has given up on them i think person a is very afraid that they're going to lose out on a soulmate then they're devastated they're, this person is absolutely devastated now because they really don't want this connection to end person a says no om kara taro i do i'm i don't want this to end i hope they give me one more chance because i want to prove to them you know i'm ready to start from scratch and show them i value them they are the person i want to spend the rest of my life with and i'm ready to take that risk that leap of faith and you know give them my whole heart so but the, i think that there's a little bit of fear as well because they are spying they are try, you know they're trying to gather up their courage they could be spying to see if the other person has totally given up is there a chance have they taken a new you know route somewhere else or found new love elsewhere that is a bit of nervousness that i'm feeling from person a's side so but if they got one more chance they're ready to put the work in that that's what they say for that you will have to make an effort person a you can't just manifest it you will have to take action and this is your action card uh, which of course i'll open later i'm going to go now to the other side and see how person b is feeling so person b you seem to be fine you are glowing as the queen of wands what's what's going on queen of wands queen of wands says i took time out om kara taro i retreated into my little shell i i have healed myself yep they broke my heart big time they plunged three swords into my heart but you know what like i said i've been healing and i have healed my broken heart now i realized they were immature they were immature they just wanted to have fun they wanted uh, you know a good time not a long time they they were more about the passion than taking responsibility of this connection they were not a true emperor they were just stubborn they were egoistic they just wanted things their way or the highway and uh, they were pretending to be you know an adult when they clearly they were immature so that's the reason i ended things with them i'm i've taken my energy back i'm holding back from them four of pentacles yeah made up that made up my mind i'm not waiting around for any offer from them in fact i'm choosing my own direction i'm rebuilding my own life why is that person b tell me the moon what's the moon what's the moon card i think person a uh, sorry person b did wait i think person b has been through that cycle of getting feeling depressed feeling emotional hoping that person a would return sooner or later uh, i'll i'll just wait around i'll just wait around uh, and stay depressed here uh, you know they they haven't come back to offer me anything will they won't they will they won't they but finally realize you know what i'm sabotaging my own self i'm allowing somebody else to have the power over me when clearly the universe has shown me that they are not mature enough yet or they're not a true emperor yet or they still have these control issues ah uh, no that's when i realized you know what i should stop waiting around for someone someone who's clearly shown me that they're just immature that they are i don't want to deal with the player kind of person anymore so i just you know this healing time that i took this person is saying this healing time that i took that really made me stronger to realize yeah the truth was revealed to me that you know person b you are not supposed to stop your life why are you spending sleepless nights stress tension anxiety having nightmares over somebody who's clearly very stubborn they just wanted a good time at least that that's how person b is feeling okay uh, i think person b drop the ball of even thinking waiting contemplating will they won't they will i get an offer person b says na i i i'm i realize that I, I, it's it's healthier for me to be angry with them and just give up on them right instead of waiting for them to come and you know rebuild that broken tower with those little pieces of debris which is clearly not built on for 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 firm foundation what's the point it's going to crumble again So person B tell me how do you feel about the connection now and how do you see person A Person B says I already told you 
I gave up. I'm not going to be carrying all the baggage of this connection, Omkara Taro. And nor am I stressing or nor am I in anxiety anymore. Been there, done that. I replaced it with, I'm taking back power of power of my own life. And I'm, I'm using my anger to my benefit now. Uh, because I realized that I was dealing with somebody who was doing the same thing. They were selfish. They were self-centered. They were only thinking about themselves. So you know what? I'm planning to do the same. I'm, tu I'm turning my back on this connection. I want to see what else is out there. I'm not stressing about them to come back and treat me the way that they did. In fact, uh, I, I'm listening to my intuition now and that even if, even if they did, which they haven't, by the way, even if they, even though they haven't made an effort because clearly they don't have, they're insecure or they are, they never wanted to commit they, because they haven't sent me any text. We have, we're not communicating, but 1%, even if they did, even if they did come and give me a little sorry or something, what does that mean? Are they still ready for commitment? I'm not too sure. I don't want any immature offer that, hey, sorry, and then there's a cup and there's a stinking fish in that or anything like that. I don't trust this person because I, I, I've seen through them. This is what they did in the past as well when they never stepped up. They never took action. They stopped communicating and slowly things kind of just ended. And now justice is in reverse. I'm not even wanting or waiting or you know nothing in fact i'm i'm so focused on my own life right now that <clears throat> i'm not uh, i'm trying to keep my focus on a new journey maybe new friends or uh, attracting abundance into my life or i'm definitely not chasing this person <clears throat> so well these are your thoughts both of you now let's see what actions you guys will take I'm going to take another deck for this one Aquarius and while I shuffle these cards may I please request you if you could just tap the like button for me please helps the videos to circulate keeps me motivated and uh, newcomers repeating viewers do like share subscribe to the channel we welcome you in so person A action from your end towards person B or otherwise three of pentacles I think person A really does want to work on this connection they want to show person B, I'm ready to work on it. So, tell me how. Knight of Pentacles, Queen, or oh sorry, Empress, and the King of Cups. Wonderful. They want to make things right. This person will be taking action soon. The only reason they could be a little slow right now, Aquarius, is because they're still weighed down under the burden, the overwhelm of their past actions right so but they are coming in slow but steady why because they can't take their eyes off the other person who they view as everything that, that they want and nobody else matches they have a lot of respect for person b yes they are they are they are in love and they're coming to surrender to this love they may come in slow but this person is coming in steady with full surrender mode to say you know what let's make things right i want to make things right with you and i'm ready to put in the work very stable energy from what I'm feeling, emotionally available now. And yes, they can't take their eyes off person B, that's for sure. Nobody else matches what they feel for person B because clearly the universe has already told me it's a soulmate connection. That's why that strong pull is there. Okay, so person B, action from your end towards person A or otherwise. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Person B says, I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving towards them. Uh, so, what are you going to do? Page of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Person B as an action that actually tells me there's no action from your end. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Four of Pentacles and the Emperor and the Ace of... Okay, so Person B says, first of all, 
I'm open to new options and they, I think person B has a lot of good options coming their way. It's not that they're giving their energy away or anything like that. In fact, they're saying if person A wants to come back, not only will they have to be the action taker, they will also have to come with commitment. Show me that they've matured or grown up and are ready for a connection with me and uh, put in the work. Prove to me that they are, they are now ready to take responsibility. I think person B says, I am not going to budge now. I'm, I, I am protecting my energy. But somewhere I feel they do miss person A as well. They think of person A quite a bit and they, it's like, yeah, if they want to come, let them, sh let them show me. I want action. I want proposals and I want somebody strong in my life. Somebody who I can build with. Somebody who comes and offers me their heart, soul, life, everything so we can build together from scratch and then go straight to the Ten of Pentacles. And if not, I'm going to hold myself back and there's lots of other good options which the universe is sending this person as well. So I don't think they've gone anywhere but they are going to be very discerning and make wise decisions as to who they give their heart to. The Queen of Swords is not going to be playing with any immature characters anymore. It's like I need a king, uh, I need an emperor, if not an emperor at least a king who matches my vibration. That's what I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.